The 10 Strangest Cars in the World Before watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number 1. Peel P50 The Peel P50 is a world record breaker. It is listed in the 2010 Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest production car ever made. This three-wheeled microcar was originally manufactured by the Peel Engineering Company on the Isle of Man for only three years, from 1962 to 1965. It was advertised as being the perfect size to fit one adult and one shopping bag. No room for the kids in this tiny car. It only has one door, which is on the left-hand side, and one headlight. Going backwards in the Peel P50 was not an easy option as the car has no reverse gear and needs to be maneuvered backwards physically using a handle at the car's rear. Only 50 of these unusual little cars were originally manufactured and only 27 are known to still be in existence. In March 2016, one sold at an auction for a record 176,000 US dollars. Number 2. Ferrari 512S Modulo At first glance, you would be forgiven for thinking that the Ferrari 512S Modulo looks more like a spaceship than a car. With an extremely low, wedge-shaped body, this unusual-looking car has a canopy-style glass roof which slides forward to enable the driver to enter the cabin of the car. The Ferrari 512S Modulo was a concept sports car, first unveiled at the 1970 Geneva Motor Show. All four of the car's wheels are partially covered, adding to the illusion that it is a hovering spaceship rather than a car. The Ferrari V12 engine allows the Modulo to reach a top speed of around 220 miles per hour and to get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an impressive 3 seconds. Number 3. General Motors Firebird Inspired by fighter aircraft design, the General Motors Firebird cars were prototypes, unveiled in the 1953, 1956, and 1959 Motorama Auto Shows. They certainly need to win an award for their cool name, Firebirds, but these cars owe more to their design to jet planes than to birds. Sleek and streamlined, there were four Firebirds designed and built over the years. Some of their more unusual features were their bubble-topped canopies, the tail fins and short wings, and the steering being controlled by a joystick positioned between the two seats. This was supposed to give the car a futuristic feel and simulate the experience of flying a plane. Number 4. Norman Tim's Special An iconic American car design, the Norman Tim's Special was designed, as its name suggests, by a Los Angeles-based mechanical auto engineer called Norman Timms. Norman was an influential engineer working with Tucker Automobiles in the 1940s. The Norman Timms Special took over three years to complete. This elegant, streamlined car has no doors and a long, swooping front nose, giving it a slimmed-down design. There is an unfortunate ending to this car's story. Having spent time in front of a Californian restaurant for children to play on, this strange-looking car was sadly destroyed in the 2018 Malibu fires in California. Number 5. DMC DeLorean Famous for its appearance as a timed machine in the Back to the Future films, the DMC DeLorean is indeed a real car. This sleek sports car was originally manufactured by the DeLorean Motor Company between 1981 and 1983. The car stood out from others on the market due to its skull-wing doors, which opened upwards and outwards, instead of the same way as a normal car door. Whilst this feature looks cool, it would not be particularly practical when squeezing into a small space in a supermarket car park. Unfortunately, the car did not live up to its spectacular looks and steep price tag, with disappointment being felt over its lack of power and performance. Number 6. Fiat Multiplo The Fiat Multiplo, Type 186, is an unusual-looking car that is relatively common on UK roads. The Multiplo appears to have an unusually wide windscreen. Inside it has two rows of three seats, instead of the more usual format of having only two seats at the front. 
Inside the multiplo there is ample room for all the family, with the three abreast seating allowing for adjustment of the front seats and removal or relocation of the rear seats into a variety of formats. There is also plentiful space for luggage, making this an ideal vehicle for family trips. However, the aesthetics of the multiplo have not proved to be popular with drivers. Number 7. Stout Scarab Stout Scarab was the world's first minivan. It was envisioned by its designer, William Bushnell Stout, as being an office on wheels. Produced in 1932, the Scarab had a short nose and a long wheelbase in order to maximize accessible space. The Scarab's body was intended to closely emulate the design of an aluminium aircraft fuselage. It was the world's first car with a fiberglass body shell and air suspension. At the time of its production, the Stout Scarab was considered to be an ugly car. However, it is now respected as an Art Deco icon. Only about a dozen of these odd vehicles were made and it is thought that there are only five surviving Scarabs today. Number 8. 1948 Tasco. This strange car looks a little like it has feet rather than wheels. The 1948 Tasco was a post-World War II American sports car, designed by Gordon Boerich. It featured airplane-inspired controls and was the first car in the world to have a T-top roof. When GM used the same design on the 1968 Corvette, Boerich sued them as he owned the patent for this. The name Tasco stands for the American Sports Car Company. The strange-looking wheel covers are supposed to provide protection for the wheels from the wind, reducing drag and increasing speed. The prototype Tasco had an eye-watering cost, escalating to a huge $57,000. This meant that this vehicle never actually made it onto the production line in the end. Number 9. 1955 Chrysler, Kia, Streamline X Gilda. In the 1950s, Chrysler was trying to move away from their reputation for building boxy cars. In response to this, the designer of this vehicle seems to have gained inspiration from a wacky kind of spaceship. It was built at the request of Chrysler executive, Virgil Exner, and was intended to showcase extreme styling and ambitious performance. It debuted at the Salon di Torino in 1955, and later toured around Europe and the US. The car's nickname Gilda come from Rita Hayworth's performance in the 1946 film noir classic Gilda. Huge tail fins begin at the front of the car, with its unusually small cockpit placed in a forward position. The body of the car has a two-tone paint scheme with a darker underbelly. Number 10. Reliant Robin. Most cars have four wheels. The Reliant Robin bucks this trend, having only three wheels, two at the back and one at the front. This car was the second most popular fiberglass car in history, and Reliant was the second biggest UK-owned car manufacturer for a period of time. The Reliant Motor Company in Tamworth, England, produced the Reliant Robin over a 30-year period, offering several different versions. First manufactured in 1973, the MK1 Robin was well received because of its good design and affordable price tag. In 2000, the final Reliant Robin was produced and was given away by the Sun newspaper in a Valentine's Day competition in 2001. That's all about today guys. If you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.